Okay, that was the Manic Street Preachers, if you tolerate this, over to Will. <laughs> That's appropriate, isn't it? Well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> if you tolerate this. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Good. We're a tolerant lot. I think really what we, what we need to know now is how the, how the works are going and what sort of time scale you've got in mind. Um, right, well, we hope to be on air sometime at the end of May. Um, when we actually know, uh, we'll let, we'll let everybody know. Um, one of the one of the issues has been uh, that a lot of the equipment is made in Italy, and whatever anybody is saying about our relationship with the EU, it has been extremely difficult at times dealing with uh, it's getting the equipment here. It's. Um, it's not been an easy process, and we're still waiting for bits and pieces uh, to arrive from Italy. We, we know that they've been dispatched, and in lots of cases, um, it, well, in one case in particular, they went from Genoa to um, uh, Dover in a day and then disappeared completely for about 10 days. So, uh, you know, um, we're working as far as, as, as fast as the equipment will allow us to. If we do go on air at the end of May and beginning of June, there will be two transmitters. One of them will be at Cranbrook. One of them will be um, at the top of Pennsylvania. And eventually, by late summer, we'll have a third one, which will be in central Exeter. So uh, we're just sort of waiting to, to, to get it uh, tested and then we will be giving information out about how you can actually tune in. Although if you go to the website www.phonic.fm I think you'll find that you can actually uh, find out a li little more about how to tune in your DAB radio. It will You'll need to retune re it because it's at the other end of the spectrum where most of the big radio stations are, where the national stations are. Okay. So... They need, people need to consider buying a DAB Plus radio. Um, well, if you are going to buy a new radio, buy a new DAB Plus radio when you do. I mean, in the meantime, one of the points w that, that we made earlier is that Phonic FM will be available on FM. It, it, it'll also be available online and it'll be available on ra it is available on radio player and various other. Uh, if you want, I mean, if you want to find out, just put Phonic FM into a search engine and have a look at the number of places that claim that you can listen to Phonic FM. And you know you can take it from there. I, I yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's it's an exciting time. Actually, it's been really. I, I found it really at the same time as being innovating. It, it's, it's also been extremely frustrating at times. But that, yeah, that's. I guess that's the way with any enterprise that starts. When did you first uh, decide that this was a priority? Um late 2019 yeah so that's quite a long time it, yeah i mean the gestation period it obviously has been extended by the fact that covid intervened and that we we had two periods more or less off air so um yeah it, i mean it has been a, a, an extensive one uh, but I mean, the interesting thing is that Ofcom have gone ahead. Um, we we were our station was uh, sorry our signal and our DAB enterprise was advertised in round one. They're currently advertising. I think they've just finished advertising round three. And in round two, there were quite a number of places that had uh, DAB plus stations, uh, signals, uh, enterprises uh, advertised that weren't taken up because actually it does, in, in order to make it financially viable, it does require there to be a substantial um, population to make it worthwhile. Um, one of the things that's happened in the interim is that I've talked to several groups including one who were thinking of applying in round three for uh, an area not too far from here and decided against it because they didn't think that they, it financially it would be viable 
Um, so, you know, it, 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 there is finance does enter into it, although Ofcom wanted it to be a cheap alternative. It's turned out not to be a terribly cheap alternative. Uh, they were hoping that, in fact, you know, it would it would enable lots and lots and lots and lots of small stations to get onto DAB. I think the number of the, the number of DAB plus uh, enterprises that actually get to air are going to be very limited. And indeed, um, of in looking at round one, which we were part of, at the moment there are only four of the ten stations that are actually up and running. And um, so, you know, and, and a couple of them look as though they're very unlikely to ever get get to air. So, for example, there was a DAB uh, contract offered for the Isles of Scilly. Well, the Isles of Scilly has got a population of just over two thousand. So, you know. It, Financially, you may be able to run it with one transmitter, um, but it's whether, whether it's going to be financially viable or not. And, and, you know, even with community radio, being financially viable is an important issue, which is why we have to keep on, to, to, in, in order to actually support ourselves, we have to keep on doing these things like uh, the gigs that we support uh, and, and, and so on. So is it is it right? It's, it's roughly doubled the, the the kind of commitment that that the overheads have cost to come to. Uh, well, it, it's not only it, it's not only the it's not only the overheads, uh, not only the initial costs that are more, but also it means that there will be a rise in our the license fees that we pay to. Uh, performing Rights Society and so on, PRS and PPL, which is another organisation that takes money from us. So as you increase your audience, the, the, those fees go up as well. So we have to sort of take into account the fact that um, uh, going onto DAB Plus for Phonic is going to be more expensive. Right, so that's, that's <laughs> a, another area. Yeah. And... Do you, do you think the studio equipment is going to cope with the, the demands of dub? Because the, the, the sound quality, presumably, has got to be improved. Uh, or does that not matter? Um, well, I, I, yeah. Can you ask me the same question in about three months' time, and I'll, I'll, te I'll, te I'll tell you. I mean, one of the things that we w we will need to do in the next three or four years is to replace the desk in this studio. Um, but that, you know, that's that that's an issue, um, and it's one that we'll, uh, as a board, a board of directors, we'll have to consider how we're going to go about uh, doing that. Um, you know, we're hopeful that, in fact, uh, it won't be it won't be a painful experience. I.e., we're hoping that this won't just blow up one day and and, and take <laughs> us off air. So, um, you know, I think probably it's true to say um, that our, our expenses will grow, but we hope that with an increased listenership and an increased involvement by people, um, that we will continue to survive as we have survived since 2008. Well, yeah, I quite quite agree with that. Yeah. yeah so, so basically, the pr the priority at the moment is to get the DAB signal working. Up, yeah, uh, up, and and Ofcom have to approve what we're doing because they laid out the, they have laid out the parameters of what what is going to, what needs to be broadcast to to the area. But I, I, the other thing that I would say is that um, if they do. Uh, have other DAB uh, multiplexes in Devon, it will shrink the area that we actually broadcast to. So, for example, um, if if the uh, Exmouth and Dawlish uh, DAB multiplex gets on air, it will decrease the size of the area that we broadcast down towards Exmouth. Um, but you know, this is in the future. We're, 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 at the moment, we're working towards just getting our DAB plus signal on air. Yeah, uh, well, that's great. And the, the the same brilliant sounds that come out of the FM signals, as it is at the moment, will go to DAB. Yeah. And if yeah. the studio is refurbished at some point in the future, that will be even better. It, yeah, it will be. Um, but, uh, you know, ifs and buts. It's it, uh, it's an enterprise, Will, and it, you know it's an enterprise that I've enjoyed being a part of, and I intend to continue being a part of. Um, and it's 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 really um, it's really up to us as a 
as a community, both the people on air and off air, uh, who are going to decide whether in fact we are able to continue. So, Sure. Yeah. Well, look, Dave, th thanks for coming in today, because I know you're very busy. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. We, we, we benefit from having this explained. So. Doing the DAB plus thing. Sorry? You're busy doing the yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's been, it's been time-consuming, um, interesting, and um, there have been pitfalls that I don't think any of us would have foreseen before we started, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, uh, I, you know, and, and it's for me, it's it's done all sorts of things that, um, or allowed me to do all sorts of things that I don't think I would have done otherwise. And it's been quite interesting. But I hope that once we get up and running on air, that it all, it all becomes you know, self-supporting. Yeah. Well, we can all hope that. Yeah. It may, it may take a little while. There may be more surprises. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, I, I suppose the thing really is to come back on Chris's show uh, when it's up and running and to, to see if there are people who want to actually ask you know, more questions or if you indeed want to ask more questions. I'm sure we'll have some more, but the, it would be good. The listeners could, could say to us whether they, how much difference they notice in the sound quality and what they regard as being possible. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, I, I think it'll be interesting to see as well. I mean, you know, for, for possibly from quite different kinds of viewpoints. But, yeah, I, I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to it, and I think it, it's an exciting prospect. Definitely. Right. Chris, more music, I think. OK, here is Prince, Party Like It 1999. 